On today's episode of Weird Moments in Beatles History, we're going to talk about something that, to my knowledge, only happened once. It's the time that John Lennon played a non-325 model Rickenbacker on stage. But not just any Rickenbacker, George Harrison's Rickenbacker 425 model. Let's see how it happened. The year is 1964, and the date? Halloween, October 31st. The Beatles are just past the midpoint of their 1964 autumn tour of the UK and are set to do two performances in Ipswich at the Gaumont Cinema, a venue they'd actually performed at before in 1963. But back to 1964, during the first performance, Lennon decides to do something rather strange. Rather than playing his trusty short-scale Rickenbacker 325 model that he'd been using exclusively for a few years, he chose to play George Harrison's normal-sized Rickenbacker 425. In this incredibly rare footage, you can spot Lennon playing it clearly. Without a doubt, this is Harrison's 425. But why? This Rickenbacker 425 is also one of the lesser-known Beatle guitars. Although Harrison kept it as a backup for a few years, it's almost never seen outside of a few live performances in 1963. On a side note, this guitar has its own weird history. Harrison purchased it during his pre-fame trip to Illinois in 1963, and originally it was a beautiful fire glow finish. For whatever reason, he had it painted black, but you can actually see parts of the original finish in some photos. Also, if you've seen my video about Lennon's Rickenbacker 325s, the link to that will be in the description, you may recall that a 5 in the Rickenbacker model sequence denotes a vibrato. In fact, this model should be called a 420, so why do we call it a 425? Well, according to Rick Resource, the factory simply made a mistake when they first shipped it. To quote them, after all these years, this is not the time to rewrite history, and so a model 425, it remains to this day. Harrison would have owned this instrument for over a year at this point, so it's not like it was something new and interesting to try out. I have absolutely no clue why Lennon made the seemingly random decision to use this backup guitar for the performance. The evening show, however, everything went back to normal. Lennon opted to play his normal Rickenbacker 325. Now why he chose to play Harrison's 425 will forever be a mystery, or just another weird moment in Beatles history. That's all for this time. Stay tuned for more, and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. See ya.